I have 10 Dollar Tree products that you should be buying right now. They are gonna kick Amazon's butt. Also at the end, I have a really cool spring inspired hack for you that's gonna impress your friends and your family. But really, you can use this hack any time of year and it'll save you some money. First things first, head on over to the Dollar Tree and you're gonna go into the kitchen section. Yes, lots of goodies in here and you're gonna grab yourself an egg holder. And no, we are not gonna use it to transport deviled eggs. Now you certainly could do that, but that's boring and that's expected and I don't wanna show you that. If you were to get a similar egg carrier on Amazon, this would run you about $16. And up. Yeah, $16 for an egg carrier. I want to show you a little something else here in my refrigerator that's going to tie into the egg carrier. You see this nice little refrigerator organizer thing shelf that you hook on your shelf and you can put your eggs in there and then you can move it from side to side depending upon where you want to place it in your refrigerator. I don't love this, it's okay, it's cute, I don't know, it looks organized, but the problem is it does take up space in your refrigerator because you can't put uh, taller items underneath it. So you gotta pick your poison when it comes to fridge organization sometimes. So here's an alternative idea for you. By the way, my egg storage container will run you $19.99. We're gonna do a dupe for $1.25. This is especially great if you are looking to remove the cardboard or whatever your eggs came in and you want to make your fridge look a little bit more, I don't know, fancier and pretty and you open it up and you say, ah, oh, what shall I eat today? The fridge is so nice and organized. And I will say once you clean your refrigerator and keep it clean and organized, you want to keep it that way. I also have a little trick for you. One thing that I like to use in my refrigerator and my ovens and stoves and microwaves and all the things is my DIY Dawn Power Wash. All of these items were purchased from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to link my blog post in that description box below so that you can access the recipe. I love this. It's great, it's amazing, it works, it's cheap. And in case you are new to the blog, it is andreagenecleaning.com. Now the egg carrier, a little trick here is you can put all of your uncooked eggs in this egg carrier. It will hold 12 eggs, nice and convenient. And you can see here the handle works amazing. You can put this in your refrigerator, you can stack things on top of it, you can put it on top of other things. So even though that is circular in nature, it is still space saving in your refrigerator and it looks nice. Or how about, do you like hard boiled eggs? These are one of my favorites to have breakfast, lunch, dinner because it's economical and it's so tasty. One of my favorite ways to cook hard boiled eggs is in my dash. Nothing in this video is sponsored. I'm just sharing with you because I absolutely love it. And I wanted to time it out. How long does it take to make hard boiled eggs? But before you do that, you just need to fill up the water line. I'm choosing hard boiled eggs. So that's how far I filled the water. And then I poured it into my cooking mechanism. And then I just poked a little hole underneath each egg and placed it on top. Make sure you have the whole side up so that I can easily vent where your beautiful tasty eggs are working their magic. Go ahead and press that button and go about your day doing your laundry, doing all the things that you want to do because this dash is going to be singing to you and it's loud enough letting you know that the eggs are done. As you can see here, it took a measly 15 minutes to cook these hard boiled eggs and there's literally almost no cleanup when it comes to this. But what I like to do with my Dollar Tree egg container is put the hard boiled eggs in there. That way there's no confusion in my refrigerator which ones are the uncooked eggs and which ones are the hard boiled eggs. And you could be the life of a party rather than showing up with your chips and your salsa and all your tasty drinks. You bring your carry in with your, your beautiful hard boiled eggs. Cheers to health. A couple ideas for you when it comes to utilizing all of these hard boiled eggs. Great in protein by the way and it's going to keep you fuller for longer. One thing that I like to do is make egg salad sandwiches. This is one of the easiest lunches. All I like to do is toast some bread and then I put my egg salad on top. I am full, I'm satiated, and it is so tasty. You can put as much mayo or mustard in it as your heart desires. I also like to eat hard boiled eggs in the morning. Not just plain, although you certainly can do it. I like to dip it a little salt in pepper, but I like to put it on a little avocado toast. Yes, yeah, spread that avocado out, put your hard boiled egg on top, sprinkle it with your favorite seasonings and then I like to douse it or shall I say garnish it with some lovely tomatoes. Sticking with the kitchen section in Dollar Tree, pick up yourself a cake carrier. Again, you're not going to carry cakes with it but you certainly can. If you have not picked up a cupcake carrier, that works great too but not for what I'm about to show you. On Amazon, these cake carriers can run you $20 and up. Holy 
smokes, $20. Just think of all the Starbucks coffees I could buy. That's like over five coffees. By the way, all I buy at Starbucks is just plain coffee with a little splash of cream in it. I don't do that foo-foo stuff. No judging about it, but I'm like plain Jane. In our home, we like to do it up big for birthdays and holidays like Easter or the 4th of July. And so one thing I like to do is have lights on hand, lots of lights, lots of decor. So as you can imagine, I have a lot of decor that I need to store conveniently that I can pull it out and bring it in with four children. We have a lot of birthdays in our home amongst all the random holidays that we have, like National Pie Day. I mean, that is certainly something to celebrate. Let me know in the comments box below, are you team cake? or team pie. If you were to look on Amazon, light storage boxes are gonna run you $20 and up. Also, I bet you know where I'm headed with this one. I also checked Walmart. These were about $12. You can see the lights that I have here are a decent size. The more tightly they are wound, the more you can fit in your cake storage container. I bet you never thought you'd be putting decorations and lights in a cake storage container, but after this video, you definitely will. You can can see here I got three packs of lights in this $1.25 container. I don't know about the Amazon ones but the Dollar Tree ones if you have a lot of lights in there you want to make sure that you are securing it tightly. So I just took two little binder clips clipped it to the side that way when I'm carrying it I know nothing is going to be falling out the bottom. Sometimes at Dollar Tree you got to get down real low to find some of those goodies or you got to look way up high. I don't think they strategically place their items like they do in other stores. I think they're like, oh, here's a free space. Let's like put this thing on there. But the candle snuffers, these were new in my Dollar Tree. I thought, ooh, these are cool. These are good. It also makes for an excellent gift idea that is affordable. Buy your friend uh, a favorite candle and then a little snuffer to go with it. And it's fun. It's cute. maybe a $5 uh, coffee gift card if that's something they enjoy. Speaking of giving and coffee and all things, I want to give a huge shout out to Heidi and Ellen, thank you so, so much for your super thanks and supporting this channel. And also another big thank you to Lori and Lena. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. All of your contributions go to a great place to help me grow this channel, to allow me to buy better equipment, allow me to hire people to help me grow it as well so that I can continue to provide you the best content when it comes to cleaning and life hacks. So let's give these snuffers a whirl, shall we? Now, a couple things. I do love the Dollar Tree lighters. They work amazing, but I also have this rechargeable one that I love as well, so I wanted to show you that because both are great options. These candle snuffers are great for safety extinguishing your candles with no mess. On Amazon, these candle snuffers will run you $5 and up. So you've saved yourself over half the money when you get yours from the Dollar Tree. You can see here this candle snuffer works great at putting out a candle, but I want to show you another little trick that you may have not seen before. After all, this is a cleaning and life hack channel. Oh, and really quick, the rechargeable lighter is basically free. No, I'm just kidding. It's already super cheap. It's like 36% off right now, plus an additional 10% off coupon if you click the button. Anything I talk about will be linked in the description box below. Grab yourself a nail clippers when it comes to cutting the wicks of your candles. You can get the perfect angle when you do this. Sometimes it's difficult depending upon the size of the candle to trim those wicks with a regular old pair of scissors and rather than spending money getting a wick trimmer, although those are really fun too, just grab yourself those nail clippers. Light your candle up and then grab yourself a pencil or maybe a bamboo stick or a chopstick. When you're ready to put your candle out, you're just going to oh so gently dip the wick back in the wax to put it out and then just lift it on back up. As you can see here, there's almost little to no smoke when you do this option. I love the candle snuffer, although it does leave a bit more smoke. So if you're looking for more smoke-free alternatives, and I don't know, which is really cool, try this trick I just showed you. I'm all about real plants these days. I get excited, I can keep things alive. I, I've kept four children alive, now I'm onto the plants. Both plants are also an excellent alternative because I keep all of my plants in sort of a generalized area. That way I can't forget to water one of them. If one's upstairs, one's down in the basement. No, no, they're all like in the same spot. I gotta make my life easier when it comes to that sort of thing. But faux plants are all the rage in my household, in every other room in my house. Dollar Tree has got you covered, although they're not a dollar, but they are pretty close to being the cheapest I've ever seen for the quality that you're gonna get. The $5 section has these beautiful faux plants, so many different varieties. I am in love. I actually stocked up on these because I'm working with a client and we are transforming her closet and so many other spaces. But I wanted some of these faux plants for 
some ideas that I have. The other thing I was caught off guard by was this floral spray. I had not quite seen this. This is in sort of the crafting, planting section of my local Dollar Tree. I looked this up on Amazon. I thought, all right, Amazon, how much is this? How much are you selling this baby for? It was like $10 and up for this spray. So I couldn't justify that, but I could justify $1.25. So I gave this morning rose a spray on my faux plant. And I have to say, I mean, it had a nice smell to it. I'd rate it maybe a six out of 10. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't my favorite thing. So if you're interested, give it a little sniff -a rooney But here's something else that I would recommend that I think is even cooler. Grab yourself some cotton balls and then your favorite essential oils. You're just gonna put a little essential oil on that cotton ball depending upon how smelly you want your faux plant and your house to be. Rub it on those leaves. Not only will it make it shiny, but it's gonna make it smell amazing, all natural. Who doesn't love a good spa day, a little self-care, a little something on a budget that's easy? Check out these shower fizzies brought to you by, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree, the Dollar 25 store. This is also an excellent gift idea. There are a variety of options available. We have eucalyptus and spearmint. We also have coconut. Now on Amazon, these are gonna run you $10 and up. And I bought these firsthand from Amazon. Actually, that's the first place that I discovered these shower fizzies was on Amazon. So when I saw them in the Dollar Tree, it's like, woohoo! Baby. Beat that Amazon. Now some of these shower fizzies you do need to get wet first, but the majority of them you just put them in the corner of your shower so that the shower streams down and little water splashes on them and it just elevates your showering experience and makes you I don't know, feel a bit more relaxed, takes your mind off things because you are distracted by the beautiful smells coming from the floor of your shower. Sticking in the same category, get yourself one of those candy dishes. Now Dollar Tree will often have a very large ones and sometimes medium sized ones. And I've also seen these like itty teeny tiny ones. And I thought, ooh, those are cute. I'd like that. Maybe I could put candy on my desk. And the mother thought was, no, Andrea, you don't need to be grabbing Skittles while you're working during the day. No, that's dangerous, but they're cute. So I filled up my candy jar with some Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. I love this stuff. And not only do I love it because it's functional, but it looks so adorable and spa-like and chic. And it just makes me want to get in the bathtub and play around with this. Now moving into the kitchen section. Well, we're going to go back to the kitchen section. We, we left, we went to like the beauty department and the floor department. We're going back to the kitchen section and they have these silver trays. I showed this in a previous video where I put cupcakes on them to display cupcakes, muffins on them to display. But I've also been using this in my bathroom just to put some of the products I use on a regular basis to keep it organized, to keep it contained, and to make it look nice. And I love this. But you can also use this in your bathtub. These four candles that you see right here, yes, I got them from the Dollar Tree. They are honey, suckle, flavor. I love the design on these candles. It just adds a little extra elevation, which I like. And we are going to have a great evening, a spa-like experience, soaking any worries away. You can put drinks on this little tray if you want to. You can do whatever you want. I mean, people do everything in the bathtub. Apparently, they, they read their iPad, they read books. I typically just listen to like a 15-minute meditation and, and fall asleep, although that's not good to do in the bathtub either. I'm like only half asleep. I, I mean, really, I can fall asleep anyway any time of the day. I truly consider it a gift. In fact, almost every day I do what's called a power down because I feel like I'm powering down the system for 10 minutes and I'll fall asleep and I will start dreaming. My kids know about this. Or I often will call it like a reboot. I'm rebooting the system. It's amazing. Since Dollar Tree is on their chicness game, I saw these gorgeous Reed diffusers. Now I've bought some recently from Walmart and Aldi and they were super stylish and I thought Dollar Tree have you outdone yourself again and yes they have. They had a variety of flavors if you will available. We have orchid, fresh cut rose, and sun-kissed eucalyptus. Now that is a beautiful Name. And don't you just love the super chic labels? This is also an excellent gift idea. And I like that this is smaller because sometimes I get sick of the scents after a while and I'm like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready to move on to the next one. It's kind of like those massive candles, they're great, but I'm so bored of the scent, like, I don't know, after a couple weeks or so. If you were to get some reed diffusers on Amazon, how do I know that? I have one right over here that was like $30. I know, that's a little crazy. But on average, they're gonna run you about $20 and up. So when you're in your Dollar Tree, mine were like near the floor. I almost missed these. I have to go down the same aisle like three times because 
every time I go down the aisle, I see something new. Has that ever happened to you? And this Reed diffuser looks so beautifully displayed on my Dollar Tree serving wear. I love weird items and gadgets. It's kind of like kitchen gadgets, you know? The egg maker though, that's something that I do use on a regular basis, but I don't, I'm drawn to them. So when I was at Amazon and I found this rub away for about $10, I was like, does this actually work for removing smells on your fingers? I love red onions, by the way. I like to put that on eggs, tacos, anything really. But I can do you one better. Yes, the rub away is awesome because it looks cute, but if you just want one less item in your kitchen, which I'm usually all for that. All you need to do is get yourself a stainless steel spoon. When I first saw this trick, I was like, no way does that actually work and remove onion smell or other smells from your fingers. And Dollar Tree does sell stainless steel spoons. So I cut up my onion and all you need to do, whether you are using the rub away or a stainless steel spoon, is just get a little water, a little warm water, get it wet, rub your fingers all around that spoon and then give your fingers a good smell and you're gonna be like, that's awesome. Dollar Tree also sells some amazing cutting boards. They have definitely up-leveled the game. This white one with the nice handle, amazing, love it. But they also have some bamboo or wood-inspired cutting boards that you could, one, cut on, but you could also just use them for display and decorative purposes. And I don't know any other place that you can get a cutting board like this for $1.25. If you ever notice in my kitchen when I'm filming, I have some cutting boards in the back. Those were from Amazon. Yeah, I should have held off. Here's a common struggle in many homes, at least it has been in mine for many years. My husband and I have been together, I think for like almost 20 years, maybe over 20 years. I don't know, I'm not good with specifics and dates. The common question is, are these dishes clean? You open up your dishwasher and you can't tell if they're clean or they're dirty, especially if you just rinse off your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher and they're not a complete disaster. Uh, and so we're asking each other this question. Growing up, we used to put a little towel on top of the dishwasher indicating that yes, these dishes were cleaned and Andrea, it's your job to take them out. That was my job growing up. But we have solved the problem. Recently on Amazon, I purchased this clean and dirty signage and it has worked great in my household. It's priced at about $9, but Dollar Tree has some even cuter ones. Look at these. So many different sayings, so many different colors. I love this. Save yourself the seven bucks and treat yourself to an additional coffee if you buy the Dollar Tree version. And while you're there, something I talk about is the glass storage. If you have the glass storage at Dollar Tree, stock up. I find myself buying a bowl here, a bowl there. I love it. It's more affordable it's better for your health. Have you ever had plastic storage containers? You notice like all the white stuff. Uh, it's basically like the plastic disintegrating on itself. I don't know, but I'm thinking to myself, this, this cannot be good mixed in with my food. So I'm slowly integrating more glass into my pantry life, or shall I say my kitchen storage life. But this is great for just keeping your refrigerator organized. The size is amazing, but it's something that I love and I think that you would love too. So we talked about all the sleeping I like to do. I do get up at 4 a.m. That is no joke. I am a morning person. Uh, so I like a comfortable bed because when it is time to sleep, it is time to sleep. And isn't it annoying sometimes when your fitted sheet starts like crawling up the side of your bed and like wrapping itself on you while you sleep? Does that ever happen to you? Especially if you didn't get good fitted sheets or maybe you're just having a fun Friday night uh, doing gymnastics in your bed, if you will. We'll leave it at that. No more will your fitted sheets come in and attack you in the middle of the night. Amazon sells these sheet grippers priced at huh, $11. Dollars! Grab yours from the Dollar Tree. Oh yes, my friend. You can also use this on ironing boards if you find that the ironing pad is coming up on itself. I've never experienced that, but apparently that's what you can also use them for. You just open up the tabs, clip them to your sheets, make them as tight or as loose as your heart desires, and no more will you be eaten alive by that fitted sheet. Organizing, it makes my heart so happy. I could just like do that all day long. No joke. Love it. So if you need your house organized, 
let me know. Amazon's got these belt hangers. In fact, it's one of their best selling items priced at $10 and it can hold 11 items or more, but essentially it has 11 poops. When I saw these at Dollar Tree, black or a gray version, I thought, what? Yes, did you do it again, Dollar Tree? Yes, you did. And especially because I'm working with a client and we're organizing her closet on a budget, yes. So here's a few things that you can put on there, ideas for your own life. You can put belts on here, yes, that is obvious. Make it all nice and organized, beautiful and pretty. Look at that displayed, I love it. You can also put scarves on there. You can put bras on there. You can put tank tops on there. I tend to collect a lot of tank tops, but I love how organized they are. Fun fact, I also do not have any dressers. I just have bins in a closet. So anything that I have in my closet essentially is like right there displayed. Like I can't hide a bunch of stuff. And I share a closet with my husband, so I need to be strategic with the space. You can also put your jewelry on here. Sometimes when jewelry gets tucked away in a drawer or a jewelry box, it starts getting all tangled together or you forget what you even have because it's in these drawers. But when it's like, ba bam, all out in the open, you're like, whoo, what beautiful necklace do I want to wear today? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. But for me, it's like gold, gold, and more gold. I don't know, apparently I'm on the gold kick. You could also, mm, here's another good one, hang your purses on there. Mm-hmm, yeah, you're welcome. Dollar Tree sells these over the door hangers, organizers, there's white. They kind of look chintzy, but they certainly do the function. I've purchased more expensive ones on Amazon, so for this price, I was like, we, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna come up with a clever idea of how I can use this. And what's nice about these is they're adjustable since it's metal, so if it's not fitting under your door properly, you can just move the metal around. But I'm putting this one in my laundry room. I don't have a place to hang clothes uh, that need to dry, particularly if it's a swimsuit or my dog dance attire something that doesn't need to go in the dryer this is perfect and here's the bonus part about this because it's in your dryer if you're running the dryer these clothes that are hanging are getting some of that indirect heat thus making them dry faster you get where I'm going with that kind of like if you were to hang these items in your shower but now you can do it right in your laundry room. And because I do laundry every single day, well, these babies are getting dry, damage free. Here's my little spring inspired trick for you. But again, you can use it outside of spring tulips. Sing spring like none other. Not like tulips sing or anything. But what often happens with tulips is they start to get, well, very sleepy and they start to wilt over like, oh, I'm so tired. I must take a nap on the side of the glass jar. But no, you are gonna wake those tulips up. All you have to do is grab a straw and you're gonna cut down the middle of that straw and then wrap them around the stems. You should probably get anywhere from three to five days of more life out of your tulips when you do this little trick. You're like, haha, I got you tulips, you ain't sleeping. I put a brace and a harness on you, and you're not going anywhere. <laughs> if you have not, make sure that you sign up for the free weekly newsletter linked in the description box below. I do a ton of giveaways, and if you are signed up for the newsletter, you will be the first to know. All right, click this video on screen now for some additional cleaning and life hacks. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.